in today's video we take a look at how to create the trendy pixel stretch effect like what you see on the desktop right now in photoshop and this is coming up hey everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up i know i'm very late to the party but we are going to try to create the pixel stretch effect in photoshop now i got these resources or these images all of them from google of some amazing yoga ladies doing some stretching and we're going to try to use any of these ones to create the pixel stretch in photoshop cc 2019 don't worry if you are using any version lesser than 2019 or more than 2019 it definitely is going to work out so let's quickly start off the first thing you need is your image and i got these images of people stretching because we are doing the stretching effect does that even make sense well probably it does make sense and the first thing you do is you drag your picture and then you put it inside of photoshop first things first let's go ahead and unlock this and what we want to do is we want to actually get rid of the background of this one so you're going to employ the strategy any one of them but my image looks very small all right so what i'm going to do is i can go to image image size here and let me just increase the resolution to about 150 so that the image is going to be a little bit bigger so you are going to get rid of the background with any of the background removing tools you can go for the quick selection or the magic one selection tool here any one of them that will work best for you so for the quick one it is going to work something like this it works like magic all right so you take your time and then you can actually get rid of all the background here like that and then you're going to take your time you hold shift to add a plus sign and then you can do the same thing for this area so once i'm done i'm just going to hit on delete and then it is going to get rid of the background now once i'm done with this or once you take your time to remove the background what you're going to do is you're going to hit on see that is the crop tool and you're going to open this one up a little bit because we want to get some more space that we can actually apply the effect and then you can take your image and try to position the person inside so if you take your time to do everything very nicely what you're going to have is you're going to have something like this so this is one that i took time to remove the background and everything and i don't even think that there is a difference in here so let's switch to this one let me actually use this one that i've removed the background the next thing that we want to do is we want to replace the background with a gradient so i'll go to the layer adjustment over here go to gradients and then i'm going to set a gradient i've already set my gradient so these are the colors that i'm using if you want to use the same thing so this is the second one i'll leave a link to download the images in the description so you can download and follow suit so i'll click ok and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my style to radial and i make sure that the part that is quite whitish comes in the middle and then i'll click ok so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this underneath of the layer and then i have my model on top of the background so now we have our main image and then we have our background now let's go ahead and create the pixel stretch to create this it is very simple you are just going to take a part of the body and then you are going to use it to create the stretch all right so the first place that i want to get rid of because this person is not in just one direction we are going to need to do a couple of tricks over here so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go for the rectangular market to here and then we're going to make a selection from the very top part to the very leg over here so make it very small like that and then we are going to make sure that the layer that is the image layer is selected and you hit on ctrl j so you have your image and you have a very small portion of the image now let's select our image back and let's go ahead to this portion because you realize that we did up to this part so we need from this area to the top part so if i calculate well I would have to select or make a selection from here or i would just have to start from the top here and then i'm going to make a very small selection so if that is not going to help me out what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my polygonal lasso tool because the rectangular market tool is not allowing me to 
select just the leg up to this point so i'm going to select the polygonal lasso tool and make a very small selection here like that and then i'm going to make sure that it is very small as well and i'll make a selection and i'll hit on ctrl j to duplicate that as well so i'm going to now turn off my main layer and then you realize that we have two different layers this one and then the other one so i'm going to drag this one over here and i'm going to try to make sure that it is in alignment so i'll press ctrl t to transform this out rotate it a little bit and then i'll bring it up here so somewhere around that place like that and then you can zoom in very well to make sure that <laughs> everything is in place so you are just going to take your time to do this all right now once you're done with this what you're going to do is you're going to turn on this layer and then make sure that you select the two of these layers and then you press ctrl e to merge them so they all become one and then you realize from here that if i turn this one off it ends exactly at my the foot of the lady but then over here it doesn't get to the part of the foot so i'm going to press ctrl c and try to open it up a little bit and then the alignment is going to just tell you that you are at the right place so from this place what we are going to do is we're going to press ctrl t hold shift and then create the pixel stretch that is we're going to stretch it out a little bit or some more like this and then you double click on it but then you realize that this ain't looking very nice so from this stretch we are going for the rectangular market tool again and we're going to create another selection so another selection small selection like that hit on ctrl j and then we can delete this stretch actually now we select the layer that we just copied and then what this is going to do is it is going to give us some more fine stretch as compared to the other one so we see that this one looks much better than the other one so we're just going to double click on it like this and then from here what we are going to do is we go to filter the start and then we go to polar coordinates now i'm using polar coordinates simply because my image is in a very sort of circular form so what i'm going to do from here is i'll go ahead and click ok you don't make any changes to whatever you see over there and then you see this circular polar coordinate and then since this is very big for us what we can do is we can press ctrl t and then try to close this up a little bit and make it some more circular you know something like this one and then we are going to bring it underneath of our image that is the models image like this so you just take your time to position this so you can just take time to make sure that the leg fits right over here you can even zoom in some more so something like this to see that it is at the very edge of excuse the image it was very very pixelated like very small okay so now once you have this what you want to do is i don't want this part showing so let me just bring this one here and from there i can make some slight adjustments again all right so from here what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of the part but this in in itself is one of the few stretches that you can do one of the styles that you can do it looks beautiful but then what we can do from here is that we go for the polygonal lasso too and then we can start from here we don't want this part we just want the right side of the section we don't want the left side so we can start from here and then we can start something like that so all of these parts are going to get rid we are going to get rid of that so up to this point and then we can zoom out like this so we'll go around just like that and then we can delete that and voila your pixel stretch is ready is that very simple okay so if you don't want to maintain this one you can just get rid of the whole of the right side or if it is the right side that you want to maintain after you make the selection like this you can go Control shift and then i and then it will turn to the other side instead and then you can just delete that and then you have the left side actually so let me know in the comment section between the left side and then the right side which one looks better for you i actually prefer the left the right side this one looks very better for me but this is not the only thing that you can do actually so after you've made a selection like this so something like this for instance let's say right over here what you can do actually is you can stretch your image 
like this okay let's just assume that we want to stretch this image and then make another one more selection from it right and then let's hide this one and stretch this one again so that it will become very smooth and we can even stretch it up to fill the leg part this is not the only thing the polar coordinate is not the only way you can do this it depends on how you want it and the type of picture that you are using so if i bring this underneath of my image for instance you realize from here that i can press ctrl t right click and go to warp over here and then i can do some very skillful things over here so something like this or oh, let me just try to bring it some more down here okay and then this one will go up a little bit so you can do a lot of the stretch it depends on how you want it and the type of picture that you're using you realize from here that this type of stretch doesn't really fit my picture as compared to so if you compare this one to this particular one you realize that this fits my image more better than this one so it depends on the type of image let me just try to close this one up here so that at least it looks good but then it doesn't really fit the image that i'm using so it depends on the image that you are using you can do so many things the way you want the stretch and yes that will be pretty much it for this video i hope you learned a thing or two from this video let me know in the comment section what you are not getting i'll be in the comment section to explain things to you and download the images in the description and then practice send to me on ig and let's get interacted thank you so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye